Welcome back to MC's Kitchen Outdoors, folks. I'm back with a little bit of a garden update. That's right. That's what we got going on right now. Uh, it's a spicy, brutal, brutal day out here. It's like 95 degrees. Somewhere around there. It's just brutal. But I wanted to show you what we got going on here with the garden. So let me turn you guys around and show you what we got going on. All right, folks. Here's our first pepper, uh, our first eggplant. If you can see right there, we got an eggplant there. We got an eggplant there. We got one growing right there, and we got another one growing over there. On our other eggplant, we got a couple that might be starting. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Here's our basil row. All they want to do is bolt. Although, the ones in the back aren't doing too bad. Here's one of our pepper plants. The stunted one. And we actually have a pepper on it. So, oh. alright, well, it's producing. And then here's our other pepper plant, which is doing really good. I decided to let this one go to flower. Because I want some peppers. The star, one of the stars of this show is our tomatoes, our tomato plants. And look at those tomatoes, folks. We have a bunch of tomatoes on this plant right here. And we got a ton of flowers all over. So we are going to get a good yield of tomatoes, cherry tomatoes out of this plant right here. Now our other one is starting to get a lot of flowers. And I do believe somewhere in here, we have one, maybe two tomatoes. I saw them before, I just don't remember where they are. But our tomatoes, our eggplant, our peppers are doing okay. They're doing good. Basil, not so much. But check this out, folks. Check this out. Look at those bean plants. Look at how good these bean plants are doing, folks. Look at this. Oh, yeah. At OMG. What I did in this bare spot right here is I took three cloves of garlic that already started to sprout on me and I planted them just for the hell of it I got one right there and I got one right there and the other one is completely buried it hasn't started to come up through the ground yet but I took three bulbs of garlic and I took those three bulbs of garlic and I planted them just for the hell of it we're in July folks I don't expect anything from that garlic. I don't expect a damn thing. But maybe we'll get lucky and we'll have three heads of garlic just before winter hits, maybe. And then when all this other stuff is done, I am going to plant garlic in both these beds. All right, folks. Well, let me say thank you for watching MC's Kitchen and Outdoors, folks. You guys stay safe, you take care, and it's time to cook some steak.